Big story, contamination concerns. The water crisis in West Michigan sparking new fears that a harm harmful chemical may be lurking in Metro Detroit. We're talking about a compound known as PFAS. There are several confirmed sites where they've been discovered, but a newly uncovered report shows they may be in thousands of areas across Michigan. All of this as a state disaster has been declared in two Kalamazoo County townships. Dangerously high levels of PFAS were found in the water in Parchment and Cooper Townships. We've been warning you about PFAS for months. PFAS are found in everything from firefighting foam to stain guards and nonstick surfaces. They've been linked to a wide range of health problems. Our big story coverage begins with 7 Action News reporter Ali Hoxie. She spent the day in Harrison Township. That's one of the areas that is tested positive for contamination. Ali. Foam used to put out fires here at this military base did contain PFAS. Last February, Lake St. Clair and the Clinton River were tested and both tested positive for PFAS. I have a big concern about that. Joanne Carley has enjoyed living along the Clinton River since 1995, but now the water she loves living along so much contains PFAS. According to sample water that tested positive in February, water taken close to her home. I'm concerned for everybody. You know, I think everybody should know what's going on and maybe you know, all of us together can do something about it. A spokesperson for the Michigan Department of Environmental Quality tells me they are actively testing 1,380 water systems in Michigan, as well as 461 schools. Scott Dean from the Michigan Department of Environmental Quality says it's unlikely PFAS will be found in Detroit drinking water. The big concern lies outside of the city, where people use well water that can easily become contaminated. We recommend people you know, that have private wells to, to be very diligent in, uh, in testing their wells for, for any form of contaminant. Dean says there are 11,000 potential places in Michigan where PFAS containing materials could have been used or disposed of, including 1,400 fire departments, 519 wastewater treatment plants, and 27 municipal airports. As for Joanne, she plans on staying put. No, that's not going to cause me to leave because I could go somewhere else and it could be just as bad. Dean hopes to have 75% of the drinking water in Michigan tested for PFAS by the end of the year. Reporting in Harrison Township, Allie Hoxie, 7 Action News. All right, Allie, thank you. And our big story coverage continues now with 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel. He joins us with a breakdown on exactly what PFAS is. And Brian, what did you find out? Well, you heard Allie mention all the places that are being tested where firefighting foam may have been dumped, but the group of chemicals known as PFAS can be found in just not just foam, but a whole lot of products that we use nearly every day. The EPA is calling PFAS an emerging contaminant that's resistant to heat, water, and oil. PFAS can be found in waterproofing materials, food paper wrappings, nonstick cookware, scotch guarded upholstery, and other industrial applications, and they've been used for decades. It was not thought to be problematic until more, much, much more recently, like within the last few years, there have been studies that have come out um, linking some really high dose exposures in animals to some potential health effects. And now that the chemicals are considered a health risk, water systems are being tested all over the state, but so are fish found in those waters to see if they also pose a risk. There's a map showing all the sites the state is tested as well as areas set to be tested. We'll have that on our website, WXYZ.com. Reporting live in the newsroom, Brian Abel, 7 Action News. All right, Brian, thank you. And as Brian just said, head to our website, WXYZ.com. You can find out how to get tested or for a closer look at the completed analytical study that's done on the Clinton River.